to the apartment. I'll do a detailed video on this September Clues video. Simon, the director and documentarian who created that, who has recently contacted me, and I had a pretty extensive email back and forth. I'll share those emails. I'll describe to everybody how this ties back to Ole and why you're not going to be seeing Ole on Crowdsource the Truth anymore. I mean, he, he has already canceled the show. That was his choice. And uh, I invited him to come back and do a special show for 9-11, maybe a week ago or more. And uh, I think he handled it very unprofessionally. And that's fine. It's also interesting that, you know, very shortly before terminating the show, Ole asked me if I would mind if he did an interview with Robert David Steele. Now, I'm not Ole's agent. I'm not Ole's mother. I don't control what he does, and I don't think that I could or should. So I told him he should do whatever he wants to do. And people can see that interview with Ole and Robert David Steele. It's pretty interesting that he would agree to do that, knowing the degree to which Robert David Steele has lied and tried to steal all of my money, my apartment. I mean, he's not a nice guy. And um, I'm not saying he's not dead. All I've said so far is that the evidence that's been presented that claims to support the allegation that he is dead, none of it is uh, really legally valid evidence. You couldn't take anything that we've seen and go to his life insurance company and say, here, he's dead, give me the money. The life insurance company would demand a death certificate, you know, lots of other stuff. So I don't want to go into that too much. I'm not sure what this thing is.